Okay, good morning. Right. This is going to be a box review of the Soviet artillery tractor, the STZ-5. Like so. The same boxer all the way around. So, uh, very stiff lid. You have to be careful. You can actually run your nails under there and give yourself a nice little paper cut underneath. Right, let's get to it. Got to uh, put, uh, put that there. That would do. Okay, also we've got the instructions. Not quite sure how to show all this. Um, you've got your spray maps which is consisting of four, five, six, seven sprues that's including nuclear sprue um, decals, a bit of photo etch and lots of lovely springs your colour list you've got Tamiyar, Mr Colour and Life Colour um, so that's all good We've got obviously your step by step. It's actually quite a clear set of instructions to be honest. Um, quite fiddly looking. But, um, that's 11, 12. Seventeen, nineteen. Alright. Yeah. Then we've got the individual track, uh, tracks and links. I can't remember what its style is called. Again, obviously for the other side, you've got your engine. Engine. You've got a hood inside. I'm going to have that post open with the door open so you can see the detail in the engine. Um, you've got your lever controls, seats, then we've got a cab assembly with your photo etch grills, a bit of interior, it's your dials, whatnot, windows, the roof, this should be all fun for painting, so I did notice, I thought it was good. You've got your door skin and inner door cards, whatever they're called. Yeah, it's inner door cards, and then the glass goes between. So that's a nice little touch, I think. Um, you've even got yeah, so you've got inner handles as well, window winders, latch release. Uh, and what we got? Applying the doors. Um, this fuel tank. Is that two fuel tanks? Looks like it. Yeah, it does. So you've got those. Oh, I see. You can have a, you've got option. You have a small one. Or you can have the large one. I might go for the large one. Uh, then you've got your wooden panels for the rear deck part of it. So um that's all good. Look like look, looks like a seat in the back there as well. Oh um, that's what all them little photo edge pieces are there. My god they're actually brackets. That look like they're um holding the wood together. That is going to be quite well detailed. Uh, so yeah, we've got the finishing these side panels, put them on, and attaching the uh, cab to the chassis. And obviously in the rear part to the chassis, then you've got your decal placement. 
this is going to be uh, that will all be good well, I'm just thinking just have a quick flick through yes there section 32 I said about the badge on the front of the radiator there's three individual separate pieces so go there so um, that will all be good but anyway that's the distractions done I'll just get that out of the way it's a bit brighter today which is good right first off We've got the sprue of wheels and bogies with um, a small amount of flesh, but well detailed. I don't know if we can see that, you should be able to see that. So, um All very good stuff. Let's put that back in there. Let's have a look at the next. Have a look at this one. Um, this gearbox, various hooks. There's quite a bit of flash on this one. Plenty of seam lines, but then saying that, I don't remember doing a kit that hasn't got seam lines. So, uh, let's uh, try and get this bit of card so it can focus. Got various bits of uh, detailing on the back side. Oops, sorry, here. Some bobs, there's your instrument panel. There, so that's all, all good stuff. And it's small, really small. I thought I'd do the uh, my attempt at a review this way because um, yesterday's attempt. The turpips was a bit half assed, I think. <coughs> Excuse me, right? So, here we've got um, engine block, got a bit of flash again, not too much. Um, yep, seam lines, it's all. All good stuff, nothing bad. Uh, if I have a pointy bit, tweezers there, do. So, um, you've got to be careful because of the shade. Yeah, so, you've got main, you've got engine block here. I'm not sure what they are yet, so I'll flip it over. Part of axle, maybe. It's your grill. Got your fuel tanks, which are optional, so I should probably go the larger ones. But it depends if it covers up the rear windows or not. Not sure. Uh, let's just flip that over. And that's um, that's your radiators, radiator grill, but there's an injector pin mark there. Quite a deep one as well. So yeah, these are part of the axles looking at that. Exhaust. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. We're blessed with a bit of sunshine today as well, so that's nice. Bellows out there sitting in it. Oh, what we've got here, all the panelling, wooden panels. Okay, detailed on both sides and they're quite clean and crisp looking, a couple of um, 
visible injector pin marks but nothing nothing too diabolical um, yeah that's all good just a look bit of data I'm looking at the wood grain on here might have to get myself some kind of a better set of washes for weathering because that will take a nice wash on there for a bit of realism you've got these little tiny I think actually they're the um, brackets that hold the seat on the on the side panels oh there is the seat there so that's what that is and the other side's detailed but if you can see there I think this is going to be the underside anyway so if it is it's not too much problem you've got actual injector pin marks in the wood grain and the same on that rear gate there so we'll see how that turns out Put a bit of mud or something up there. I actually would. No, you wouldn't put mud on there, would you? Okay, that's that one. That was the fourth screw. Right, five. Here we go. This would be good. We got the tracks. So on the back side I'll show you the tick. Flash wires they're not too bad. So um yeah, it's all good stuff. I'll show you that if we can. So you've got all these individual should be all good fun. These are like um Little rollers, I think. Flip that over because something I know oh it's on the inside, but on the inside of these ones, I'm not sure you'd be able to pick them out. I've got injector pin marks on each side, on each and every one of them. Um, so it's that's okay, that's okay, we can manage, we can manage with that. And what we got, I won't take this one out, that's your clear screw. It all looks nice and you can't see because of the glare. They all look nice and clear. Headlamps, side windows, rear windows, screens, split screen. Yeah, so they're good. So have a look at this one. It's just the main cab assembly and the inner door panels. Which isn't too bad. You've got your um, detail, you have your handle there to open and close because open front outwards the window winders go there and then we have very good so you've got your uh, rear cap panel roof that's part of the engine where the engine part goes Size of the chassis, a bit of clearing up to do on them. Actually, it's got, got a bit of flash. You've got the front panel, which is nice. It's not a bad size, actually. Um, and then, obviously, your floor pan for your seats and, <coughs> excuse me, engine. So, 
all in all, that doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, sorry, it doesn't look bad. It all looks good, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Get that one in there. Then lastly, we've got the, um, I don't know what make they are, but um, you've got your decals or transfers. Bit of rope or string, should we say? <coughs> Series mate. Then, like I've shown you before, we've got the um, we've got the photo etch. What I'll do, I'll just take that out because there's too much glare. Too much glare on that bag, and I think that's in a separate bag anyway. Yeah, two more separate bags, so that one, that can all go. So yeah, you've got your grills. Got your grills, these are little brackets that go in the rear. You've got wipers. You've got the CJ and the T. And also another, so you've got a complete badge there, and then you've got one that's individual. So, um, all good stuff. And obviously you've got the, uh, you've got the springs as well, for suspension. So, might as well keep them separate. That was my attempt at another inbox review. I hope it was helpful or useful. Um, so yeah, it's quite a nice detailed kit. So there you have it. Where did I put instructions? Over there. I can go there. That is that. It is now 11.39am on a Saturday morning where we're blessed with a bit of sunshine. So thank you for watching. Um, hope you have a, all have a good day and uh, keep building. So until the next time, could be later on, I'll see you again. Okay, ta -ra.